with the climate of this nation that I think it's very important that we move quickly and quietly. Just moments ago, Baltimore City Mayor Catherine Pugh defended her decision to remove what some consider controversial Confederate monuments. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Andrea Roon. The removal of those monuments in Baltimore and the violence in Charlottesville over the weekend is the subject of today's megaphone question. Do you think that all Confederate statues need to be removed? Now, as you vote, we're learning more about what exactly happened last night. Evan Koslov has the latest from Baltimore. A dirt covered hole is all that sits here. It once mounted a statue that's been here for decades. This has not seen the sunlight for decades. Now it is open right now. This used to hold Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson, two Confederate leaders. Now it was removed in the middle of the night by the city of Baltimore. All of this after the incidents in Charlottesville, trying to get rid of these statues. This was one of four of them. Let's show you some other video of the three others that were taken in the middle of the night. There was one of that was the Confederate Soldiers and Sailors Monument over on Mount Royal Avenue. Also the Confederate Woman's Monument. The statue was stripped away over on West University Parkway. The Roger Taney Monument also stripped away in the dead of night. Now a lot of people saw this happening overnight. We're there taking photos and we're actually pretty happy about it. Take a listen to what they had to say. It's a teachable moment and it's a um, time for other people to be up on a pedestal. It celebrates um, the, the worst part of our history and, and presents it as something worth honoring and, and that's actually twisting the truth. It was put up in the 1940s, not directly after the Civil War. And, and about that last person you just heard from, he is actually the one that organized this statue right here. His friend actually made it. It was originally put up two years ago as a type of resistance against the statue here. Then on Sunday, they brought it back and it still sits here. Uh, we don't know how long the city is going to allow this to stay here. But obviously, we want to get to the fact that many people also were not happy about this. Look at this right here. Somebody wrote, are we helping on the side of it? It was a young woman who said she wasn't in favor of deleting history. So she said she was very concerned. On our Facebook, you'll see a whole mix of opinions. We hope you'll chime in. The very latest here in Baltimore, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. While our crews were out there this morning, we actually caught a pretty special moment as well. Two women, one white, one black, who had never met before, they started a conversation and it ended with tears and a hug. Take a look. We, we have a long way to go. We have people with the slave mentality that still feels that that's the end all be all. To, to me, this was what it took for me to finally Quit being so angry and cry. I, um, I have not. I, I have not done that yet. People like me are going to be here. That's right. I want a future.